Hello there everyone, welcome to another episode here on this uh, Harad campaign. So we're I'm kind of building up everything that I can. And I'm gonna try to go for mainly infantry based armies, as in with lots of trollman warriors. Because it seems like it's actually the best course Once of action. You, oh, he's also me. sending a troop here, that's interesting. Yeah, but for now, it doesn't seem like the that Rune is gonna do too much. Neither the Variax, they're also, you know, under siege Orders on most of their places. The sun sets on you have three turns to reach there. The this guy yes, is gonna yes. have this support. There's no more kill here, but there is that. one here. And I'll get the necessary men. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna siege this one up and uh, attack the other army with whatever. Yep. So let's end up the turn. Really want to finish off the Variax as soon as possible so that I can concentrate on just border and leave like one army defending against Rune. Even though Rune is not going to do too much, I predict. Like they, they might just send an army there. By the way, at what point I'm going to win by conquering? Because I'm very soon. I think I only need one more settlement, so that will be next turn. But I'll still carry on and try to at least conquer all places from Mordor. Okay, this was essential. This Black Snake God, but I really want is the heavy cavalry units. So yes, I'm gonna wait for those. This guy's gonna move in. How many? How many turns do you need? Still gonna need a couple of turns, so you're gonna go back to the bridge. I'm gonna go over here. Imlad Karnan, you can have that pike there. It's nice. You're gonna upgrade. I know that it has some good mines, but I kind of rather have the upgrade now. Now, military lodgings, they don't provide any units, but at least they do provide some stuff. Yeah. So you're gonna move away. That's perfect. At once. So that's further reinforcements for the front. There we go. This guy is the one that is going to go over there. There we go. I think I need a pike unit or a, an infantry unit there. So I'm just going to build infantry units everywhere. Seems like the ones that I really need. Some southern lances, why not? Some of these guys. I'm gonna dedicate this turn to building up units, you know. Yeah. Like the shiny shadows are not that important. Not as important as getting, you know, these kind of units. Or oh, serpent guards, perfect. Muhad Beast Masters here, why not? This guy might as well build a couple of these. Yeah, might work, might as well. I mean, I don't really have to worry too much. Okay, there's no threat here from this guy. Anyway, seems to be slowly forgiving us. Over here, it's fine. Over there, I'm gonna conquer that place and that will be the victory, actually. So I do have the victory condition very soon. There we go. I can recruit some Kanish Raiders, but not important. By the way, I'm just moving all of these units. I don't think I'm gonna need them, but I will attack border from the back as well. And these guys are coming back because the resistance here from mortar is getting tricky. It's getting tricky. Now there there are some further forces from mortar coming in, but you know. So what do you need? Could give you just infantry based forces. I know that some Muhad tribesmen would be appreciated. They're good. Yeah, let's go for barracks. I really need you to produce some of those units. There we go. Yeah. Yes, noble master. So what do I need from you? Orders. 
cavalry units, that's what I need. Yes, for sure. So I already have the cavalry units that I wanted. And now I need some for the three units of very heavy infantry, I think. Like these guys. I should move this guy here. Yeah. And a couple of two extra units here and there. I mean, I'm building those up. It's going to take a while, though. Yeah. It's going to take a while because these guys take some time to build. But it's fine. What is he bringing in? Something very easy and cheap. Yeah. These guys are going to come in. It's cool. Did I move everything that I wanted? I think so. The nobles building the Mumikil. Okay, let's go troll men warriors. Who are those guys? I'm honored to serve. Yeah, this army feels like it's going to be enough to deal with those guys. Especially with the Mumikil unit. I mean, it takes three turns. If they cannot, well, they're going to be sieged, then that's, that's okay. The, for now, it seems like the income is alright. Yes, noble master. Yeah, everything seems to be okay here. Almost every single unit is doing some serve. orders. I don't have good trollmen producing facilities here, so I'm gonna have to rely on other types of units for now. Let me just check. Nothing problems here. Yeah, so I think I'll end up the turn and either Mordor attacks me or I'm gonna basically win. Because I'll achieve 40 regions and I have destroyed all, all the objectives, so I mean, it's kinda cool. I already have Minas Tirith in the Lambeth. So as soon as I capture Amon Khan, it's victory. After that, like I told you, I'm still gonna go on and crush Mortar. But for now, I think in terms of the streaming session, I would make a small break and then go into the Dolwinian campaign as well. Okay, then I guess I'm gonna take Osti I'm gonna take Ostithiel first. So he has another fat guy. He's named the Fat, by the way, guys. Captain Haku. His horns will, dude. You're taking one of the taking one of the best armies that I have against Mortar. With this, nah. This guy is gonna take some more orcs with him. Come on. Okay, so on my back, I'm gonna have the Mumakil crushing the general. Because they're coming coming up from the back, so I'm just gonna have these guys here and they're gonna crush their enemy general. So that I can capture Ostithil. Then these guys I'm actually gonna deploy them differently. I'm already gonna deploy with these guys ahead. There we go. A very long line of mixed troops. These archer units are going to be here. These guys are going to go on the f on the side. That's cool. This guy is going to wait here. They're going to charge or whatever. Foe brings more men to the battle. Take away the skirmish mode, that's nice. These guys can chant, actually. Can't remember what it does. I know that it does some bonuses, but I don't know, it's, it's, sometimes it's like that. Of course they can chant and cause some bonuses, but is it worthy the fact that you don't have those guys in? Okay, so let's just send the Mumakil there. Right, there is some... Units here, okay. The Brotherhood do cause lots of damage. So might as well just attack these ballers. There we go. I mean, I could send these guys even to crush their general, but I don't think I'm gonna need that. Not for now. So the infantry base can move. These guys can just move a little bit so that they have some range. Let's actually move in here. Or, ju let's just move them here, 
because they're gonna get in range. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. I think they're referring to this guy. Yeah. As soon as they kill the general, it's pretty fine. Our four fights with horns made of clay. We are winning the battle. Yeah, these Muhad Beastmasters, they have a very interesting advantage over other javelin forces. It's this. Number of missiles, five. These guys just cause so much damage. It's ridiculous. Like, they alone, they can kill a unit of Mumakil, by the way. No kidding. No kidding. Not kidding at all, guys. Okay, kill the general. Come on, stop that. I need to give this command. Here we go. These the trollmen hunters can stop and start attacking something. Okay, there's a Sauron's will. That's perfect. Yeah, I killed all those molars. These guys are gonna charge there. And you're gonna be on skirmish? Well, no. Get away the skirmish. There you go. Let's go over there and take that away. Or coast. Let's kill them. Whom I kill? You managed to kill. Let's come in. I could have used any other unit, but I just like the idea of using a whom I kill. You know, it's fine. These guys are going to cause them to rout. These guys are going to move here. I think those guys are gonna crush them. Four fights with horns made of clay. We are winning the battle. I really wanna see how they are effective or not. Okay, these guys, they are not forcing too much. Let's get away. I was counting on you attacking there. Boom, I kill. Straight up in the middle. Will you? Yeah, over there I think I can manage. This guy is not killing anyone. Oh, that's fine. There come the Boom, kill. You're gonna kill a lot of them. Six percent of my men dead. Yeah, this charge from the back should be enough. As well as this. I know that I'm charging myself in pikes. But yeah, this is enough. Let's attack the Morgul Chosen. No, they don't actually kill my men, don't worry. It's it's quite fine. It does disrupt my men, but it's still quite easy. So those are halberds. Let me just Enemy take those guys bloodied. there. They have lost half their men. These guys are fighting Sauron's will. Yeah, they, they get killed pretty fast, so... Might as well just use this charge. And the skirmishers. They get killed pretty fast. So there we go. You are going to attack here. And that's going to do it. These guys are going to take here. You're going to take over there. You're going to kill these guys. Why not? You're taking the Sauron's will. Okay, let's stop it and let's take here. Brotherhood of the bow. You can take here. Mumma kill. Yeah, it's dancing. Look at that Mumma kill. He loves it. There you go. So I'm just pursuing units right now. Lost a couple of these m these units there, but as long as I don't lose Mumikil, I'm pretty fine. Okay, they, they didn't manage to kill those guys, so I'm just going to pursue here. Yes, yeah, Sauron's Will is routing. Let's just attack these Orc Maulers. Behold our worthless foe! See how that general turns tail and flees like a whipped dog! Okay, I gotta take those archers, those are the ones. Okay. 
these guys come back here. They run like children. Good. So now everyone is running away. Let me just stop the fire. These guys, let's stop the fire. It's cool. They can pursue units, you know. Mumakil can. Bodyguard, let's take those arms. Will these guys? I can surely crush these. Okay, let's have the control over here. There we go. Still a more good chosen here. Let's attack over there. It's difficult to target when. These are trollmen warriors? Wow, they, they really move fast, don't they? I think they have about as same speed as some of the. Uh, let's say that a. Uh, uh, not a cavalry unit. But uh, an archer unit, for instance, that is already fast, you know, like an elven unit, for instance, they have about the same speed as that. Like the, and I'm talking about these guys, the the troll men. I know that they have very good stamina, so they can survive a lot. Oh, hang on. Bit of a problem here because this unit has this issue. Yeah, that's the general, so I should kill them. Like I told you, a very good army to face off. And this is a most crushing victory. Always heroic victories. Your name will live in marble, and our foes in sand. Yeah, so the Mimikil still managed to do the highest amount of casualties, even more than the Brotherhood of the Bow, uh, even though they were half the time away from the battle. <laughs> so that will be the last episode for today's streaming session for uh, Harad campaign, but I'll still make a couple of them for Dorwinian. So don't go anywhere, I'll just make a small break to eat something and make a, a rest. So bye-bye guys, see you in a, in a moment, and for you guys of course on YouTube. Bye-bye, cheers! Oh, hang on a second. It's victory as well. Oh, it, okay, it's not victory because we're gonna have a battle very soon. Let me just see what's the next. Oh, it's... I can't even withdraw. So this army doesn't fear me. There's a ballista. I don't fear this army, it's pretty even. And this guy doesn't have anything else. Alright, so I think I should have... No, I think I should destroy this army very first by controlling that. You know, in the end. And harassing them with my cavalry archers. Yeah, that's going to be interesting. But that will be on the next episode. So thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.